Hello, welcome back YouTube to yet another video. Today we are continuing our journey to 1000 streak and this is episode 2. We did countries till 25 last time so this time we'll be doing hopefully till 50 and let's see if we can make it to 50. And for this one the Twitch chat is going to be on screen so if you want to be a part of the Twitch chat click the link in the description come on over and have fun. Let's get into it. So first things first, in the 26th country here, we have this sign which has green background and Latin characters which are normally found in Malaysia, Indonesia and Singapore. But since we have a green background and a yellow exit sign, this can only be in Malaysia. So let's find something else to confirm. We have a black car. And this is the back of the car, so that means we are driving on the left, which supports the Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore theory. Then we have this license plate, in which we have two white sections with a black background. In the last episode, I showed you guys an image of an Indonesian plate. So in this one, the image of the Malaysian plate should be somewhere here, I think. Yeah, hopefully you saw that. Another thing for Malaysia would be, let's take a closer look at this one. Again, those green green background, white text. But the only difference with Singapore and Malaysia is these yellow things. Like we had an exit sign last time and now we have a highway sign in yellow. So that makes it Malaysia and not Singapore. There you go. Next one. Okay. So firstly, we have these short dashes on the sides, long antenna. And then... We have some signs around us. Okay, so this, I remember mentioning these signs in the last video. So yellow background, black text and red arrow within the sign. That means we are in Sweden. So that was a quick one. For the next one, okay. Interesting. So first things first, we have a Cyrillic writing, which is found in a lot of countries. And in, in the Balkans, in Ukraine, in Russia, and in Kyrgyzstan and Mong Mongolia as well, in Geogesa. Now we have a few clues. First thing being this blue sign. So normally blue signs would be in Ukraine, Russia and Bulgaria, but the Bulgarian ones look way different, as I mentioned in the last video. So this is Russia or Ukraine. Secondly, we have this long antenna on the car. So combined with Cyrillic, long antenna usually means Russia and Ukraine as well. Now let's find some solid clues to differentiate if this is Ukraine or Russia. Okay, so after searching for a while, I found this um, Russian flag and it says Russia as well. I can read Cyrillic, so it says Russia as well. And with the Russian flag, this should be Russia only. But let's see which region it is in because I'm a bit confused as to where it could be. Far East, Russia, quite close to Vladivostok. Let's, let's go for the next one. Okay, Generation 2 camera, you can see with the halo around the sun. And the big blur around the Google car. We have white lines in the middle. Now let's find some clues to get the country right. Okay, as you can see, we have a three. We have three lines in the middle, so two solid outside and one white single dashed. So these kind of road lines are normally found in these countries. So Botswana, South Africa, Lesotho and Eswatini. Now, I repeat again, these all, all these three have to be white. If they are in some other colors, then this is not applicable. But if all of these three are white in the center, you can find them in all four of these countries. Now, since we have a generation two camera, it can only be South Africa because Botswana, Lesotho and Eswatini have only generation three cameras. So let's go for South Africa. Nice. 
Okay, next one. Hmm, interesting. So first and foremost, we have northern looking trees. Secondly, we have this kind of a sign where you have a red border and yellow in the middle. So these things are typically Scandinavian-ish. I won't comment on the exact countries. And then we have a long antenna. So if you combine all these factors without moving right now, you could ideally be in Iceland, Norway, Sweden and Finland, ideally. But I'll just move one step. And we have a sign ending with G-U-R, which is a way to say street in Iceland. So this should be Iceland. Let's guess. Nice. Okay, next one. Um, okay, again, so firstly, we have Portuguese and how do we differentiate Portuguese from Spanish? The C with the tail, as you can see. So it's Portuguese, not Spanish. And so Portuguese speaking countries are Brazil and Portugal. But in this situation, we have Brazilian poles as well. As you can see, we have some indents. One, two, three, and then dots till the upper part of the pole. So that's a Brazilian pole. Also something to note would be the generation for camera, which is pretty common in Brazil. So yes, this should be Brazil. Nice, let's move on. Okay, so firstly we have generation one camera and you don't need to need special eyes for recognizing generation one camera, it's just bad. So generation one camera is most commonly found in USA and Australia. But sometimes it's found in Canada and New Zealand as well. Those are the four most common countries where you'll find it. Now to differentiate between these two and these two, the first thing you can do is look at the sun. So here the sun is looking south, as you can see the compass on the top of the screen. So we should be in the northern hemisphere, which leaves us with Canada and US. And one thing that you can notice is this side antenna. If you ever see a side antenna in the Generation 1 camera, I think it's most likely United States, but let's confirm it. Okay, so time for another meta. Um, parking signs are different in the US and Canada. So if you ever see this red or green sign with border and having the text in red or green itself, so that would be the United States. Canada does not have signs like these. And yes, indeed it was. Okay, next one. Okay, so for this one, first things first, the sun is to the south, looks like Europe, with the white road lines, generation two camera, and there's two metas to go through in this round, so let's have a look at them one by one. Firstly, the thing is these road lines. So if you feel you're in Europe and you have generation two camera and you see road lines like these, so white along with yellow, longer yellow and shorter white, you will be in Finland. You cannot be anywhere else. Another thing to note in this round would be the Finnish language and how to differentiate it from the other ones. So you see how this word ends with t-i-e so a lot of french not french sorry a lot of finnish roads um road signs on a lot of finnish road signs you'll see words ending with t-i-e so yes that's a sign for finland as well okay next one John Street, epic. Okay, so firstly we have English text, which is not that common, let's be fair. Then we have a short plates in the front and in the back. That would put us in the Americas and most likely USA and Canada because of the English language. Now let's figure out which one we are in, USA or Canada. It says 
Texas Art Depot and Texas has a state in the USA. Let's go for USA. And yes, it indeed was in the state of Texas. Okay, let's go to the next one. For this one, we have a central yellow line and a stubby antenna. This situation in itself, you, you'll only find in four countries. Mexico, Colombia, Ecuador and Brazil. So it's 100% one of these four countries. So as we know from the previous video, uh, Brazilian back of the signs are generally black and Colombia behind the signs has cross. So this cannot be Brazil or Colombia. That leaves us with Mexico and Ecuador. Now let's see which one of the two it is. Okay, so as you can see, we have found a Spanish sign with white text and black border. So these signs are typically Mexican. So Mexico should be a safe guess on this one. Nice, let's move on. Okay, well, we have a meta in MPZ. <laughs> so if you have a Slavic language like this, so we can see the hat on the S, that, con that confirms it's a Slavic language. And these kind of signs with a white background, black text, black border are in Czechia and Slovakia. How to differentiate between them? Czech signs would normally have white border outside the black border. And in Slovakia, the black border fills up the entirety of the border. So this one should be Czechia. Indeed, let's move on. And okay, let's see. So this one's fairly easy. Um, we are driving on the left side. Yellow plates on the back, white plates on the front. No sticker for European Union. This should be the UK. Okay, next one. So in this one, okay. Um, I have some things to mention here. Firstly, if you ever see something like GMMBH, it's most likely something related to the German language. Not most, 100% related to something to the German language. Secondly, we can see on the sign we have WIEN, which is Wien, which is, the, which is German for Vienna. So Vienna is the capital of Austria, as we know. So this is Austria already. Then we have dot AT, that confirms it. So yes, we should be in Austria. Okay, next one. Okay. So for this one, we can start off with the language, the sign. So this country has a specific, specific way to show its highways on the signs so as you can see this is the one h is in kind of a shield so these shield things with a blue sign of course are a romanian thing as you can see this 73c is in a same shaped shield as this one h another thing to notice in romanian it can have s with a tail so yes this should be romania Okay, next one, European license plates. Okay, so here we can, firstly we can see the back plates have double blue. So that can be in three countries, France, Italy and Albania. To differentiate between those, we can always look at the front of the plates, which as you can see is a normal sized plate rather than a smaller one. So it cannot be Italy. All that we have left now is France and Albania. Now there's two ways to differentiate between them. The first way would be the camera generation. As you can see, we have a generation four camera right now. We have a crisp quality camera, no antenna, so not Gen 3. And yeah, so that's one thing for France. Secondly, we obviously we have the French language that helps as well. So yes, this should be France. Okay, 
Okay, next one. Uh, bent it was Bulgaria, but it looked like Montenegro. That's how it ended. Welcome in, by the way. Okay. Um, what is this? <laughs> So we have one second. Yeah, the runs vencedores, which sounds Spanish. Then we have another Spanish sign along with that. The Google car is not really visible. So no meta from there right now. But really orange plate. I missed it. Oh yeah, there you go. So this bus has an orange plate. So in this country, you'll see a lot of commercial vehicles with orange plates. So this one, in my opinion, should be Ecuador. Let's see. And it was. Well, for this one, firstly, we have black gravel road. We have green mountains. And we have the almighty Icelandic bollards. So Icelandic bollards are like just yellow sticks with a white top. Another thing to just know in Iceland is this long antenna. So this is a good confirmation. Let's send Iceland. Okay, next one. Um, what do we have here? Okay, if you remember the previous video, I mentioned these poles whose holes don't reach the bottom. So these poles are found only in Poland. Okay, next one. We have generation 4 camera. And we have some highway numbers which might be helpful in the later stages. Yeah, let's move and see what this is. I just want to get to the bollard. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, so this bollard right here looks very similar to the Denmark bollard. But the only difference is in, in this bollard is that we don't have the red or pink strip on the top. So this is just the yellow, yellow reflector. And this bollard is found in Belgium. Okay, next one. So, starting off, sun looks to the south. We have short plates. And I think that in, that in itself is pretty safe to say. And we have generation 2 camera, that is. There is some Spanish as well. So, I think this should be Mexico because... The only Spanish speaking country that has generation 2 camera would be Mexico. Plus the sun was in the south, so we have we have to be in the northern hemisphere. But let's let's move and confirm. Let's see. Let's find some. Speaking of metas, if you ever see this beer brand in a Spanish speaking country, you are most likely going to be in Mexico. But do not depend on it. As a quick tip. It's a good meta for confirming, but not enough to risk a big streak on. That's what I would say to you. Okay, again, double yellow lines. So most likely the Americas. Fairly green, lush looking sides. So the scenery looks a bit like Brazil. Then we have a generation four camera. That would leave us with Mexico, Brazil, and Argentina. So without moving, we've taken our search down to only three countries. Let's figure out which one this is. So as you can see, this commercial vehicle or truck, whatever you want to call it, has a red plate. So the only country in, out of these three which has a red commercial plate would be Brazil. So yes, this should be present. Indeed it was. 
ओके नेक्स्ट वन वी हैव अ स्मॉल एंड देना जनरेशन थ्री कैमरा लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द पेरेस्ट्रियन साइन शाल वे ओके सो दिस पेरेस्ट्रियन साइन इज पोलिश हाउ डू आई नो दैट इफ यू सी अ मैन एंड अ सॉलिड सिंगल लाइन बिहाइंड द मैन दैट्स अ स्पेसिफिकली पोलिश साइन सो यू आर इन पोलैंड ऑलरेडी इट्स कन्फर्म्ड इट्स दैट ईजी and another thing to notice in poland would be this character which looks like a straight line with a cross on it this third character this is specifically polish as well so let's end that okay three more to go so in the next round we have quite flat plus hilly looking <laughs> scenery you you don't find it everywhere and yes uh, there's a turkish flag turkish flags us flags canadian flags and thai flags are the most common flags you'll easily find while playing geogesa so if you ever see those flags don't mind sending okay so this one uses car meta we have a black tape on the front right side of the roof racks which means we are in the african country of ghana and for the last one we have generation 2 camera trees look scandinavian the sun is to the south that supports it let's find which country we are in okay so now we're on the road and we can see we have solid white lines on the outside as i mentioned in the previous video if it looks northern and we have solid white lines along the sides it's finland and of course we have a sign ending in t i e as i mentioned before so yes this should be finland and that wraps up today's episode thank you so much for watching um if you want to join the discord for epic daily challenges sharing stuff the link is in the description follow me on twitch come over we'll have fun the link is in the description as well till then bye bye